Hello everybody, I'm Alexander Sikhovtsov from Czech Technical University in Prague. With my co-author Viktor Janos, we present the work titled Reintroducing Straight Through Estimators as Principled Methods for Stochastic Binary Networks. There is a high interest in training neural networks with binary weights and binary activations because they can be extremely efficient in terms of computation time and energy needed for computation. However, they are substantially harder to train, in particular using conventional large-scale SGD training methods. This is so because of the following reasons. First, there is no useful gradients because activations are step functions. And second, the weights are discrete and are not suitable for continuous optimization. There are nevertheless many experimentally successful results reported using the following simple approach. Let us consider the derivative with respect to a continuous parameter, such as a linear bias b. The derivative of the sine function is zero. By propagating the gradient through it results in a zero gradient. Let us pretend, however, there is an unzero derivative. For example, we say that the derivative of the sine function is one. In effect, then, we backpropagate the incoming uh, gradient straight through the sine function to the parameter b. Other non-identity variants of this rule were proposed, which involve clipping or smoothing of some form. The same method can be applied to weights, noted that we can represent a binary weight as a sign of some latent real-valued weight. This approach is indeed a folklore method, which is not formalizable. The same function, sine of a, can be equally written in different ways. Should we then propagate straight through it in the first form, obtaining derivative of 1, in the second form, obtaining derivative of 2, or in the third form, obtaining derivative of the hyperbolic tangent? Which one is correct? There is no answer. One can say that modern deep learning is in general rather empirical. Well, learning binary neural networks, in my opinion, is on extreme empirical edge. There are many works demonstrating successful results, but all reasoning is performed intuitively and sometimes in contradiction with the mathematical rationale. There is a variety of backpropagation rules, which are different for activations and weights. There are empirical studies investigating which approximate gradients work better and how the latent weights behave during the training and what is the meaning of the latent weights. I imagine this situation as having two black boxes. One is the neural network itself and the other one is the training method. We thought that we should be able to do better by using a more sound approach. One way out is to consider a stochastic relaxation of binary network. We inject noises in front of all binary activations and consider the loss function in the expectation over all these noises. Then the expected loss function becomes smooth, its gradient is well defined. We can compute it exactly in small models or estimate it in large models. Stochastic estimates are particularly suitable because they combine well with SGD. There are unbiased estimators available but they have a prohibitively high variance or high computational cost. So we tried the hard way first. In the NeoRIPS 2020, we presented a new method called Pass Sample Analytic Estimator. We showed it to have a superior mean squared error in estimating the true gradient, in particular in deep networks. On the left, you see results using a small network with two, five, and seven layers. The proposed PSA method is most accurate. However, to our surprise, in the CIFAR-10 classification problem, there was practically no gain in using it over a specific variant of straight-through method. What was this straight-through method? This straight-through method was obtained by making additional linearizations in PSA, drastically simplifying it down to the following. On the forward pass, we sample the noises and use the sine function to obtain binary states. On the backward pass, we need to multiply incoming gradient by twice the density of the injected noise. We thought at first that this is some novel variant of straight through. 
However, it turned out to coincide exactly with the very original straight through method as it was described by Hinton in his lectures. Later on, we found other authors who have arrived at the systemator by using certain derivations. In particular, Takui and Sato obtained it as a side result in case of single layer models. Dai et al. used distributional derivatives to obtain an equivalent distributional SGD algorithm. At this point, we can say that the straight through already exists. It has even been theoretically justified in some, in some side results, but the field is not aware of it because it was never properly introduced and studied. This is the main motivation behind this work. We want to reintroduce this trace through estimator in the right way. Toward this goal, we propose a simple derivation for stochastic autoencoders, which is the setup originally considered by Hinton and Krzyzewski. We then formalize existing empirical rules. For these three variants on the right, we can choose the injected noise distribution such that it recovers the empirically proposed rules up to sampling the noise on the forward pass. We cannot obtain the identity straight through variant on the left proposed by Benjo et al. We study the properties of this straight through estimator. Besides basic properties, such as zero bias for multilinear objectives, we show that the estimate is more accurate for smooth loss functions in terms of the Lipschitz constant and gradient strength. This is confirmed in the experiment on the leftmost plot. In the beginning of the training, gradients are strong and the measured similarity with true gradient is higher, while towards the end of the training, where the gradients are weak, straight through may fail to give an ascent direction in expectation, resulting in a failure to optimize. However, when we increase the number of Bernoulli units in the autoencoder, the estimation accuracy theoretically improves. This is confirmed in the next two plots, showing better similarity with the true gradient during the whole training. Lastly, we formalize training schemes. It turns out that the identity straight through is good for weights. If we consider a mirror descent instead of gradient descent, it is always possible to choose the divergence functions such that the noise density cancels. Roughly speaking, one can imagine that the parameter space is locally stretched or compressed so as to cancel this extra Jacobian. We formally show that simple learning rules correspond to sound learning methods. So, common SGD with identity straight through corresponds to stochastic mirror descent. If we add the latent weight decay, and assume logistic noises for binary weights, it corresponds then to variational Bayesian learning. To validate this formaliz formalization, we perform the following training experiment. Using different activation noises, we apply straight through methods consistently with the model with no guessing. Contrary to empirical studies, we obtained nearly identical results in all cases. The model reached near 100% training accuracy. We can claim that we achieved a more reliable and transparent training method. Did we beat the state-of-the-art test accuracy? No. Indeed, we have not done anything to improve generalization. In some future work, we show that we can obtain better results with a smaller model when starting from a well-performed pre-trained uh, real network. Conclusion. We hope that a formalized straight through estimator will help to design learning and utilization schemes based on sound principles. We believe that studying properties of the formal ST estimator, one can better understand its limitations, in which conditions, and how to apply it reliably in practice. Thank you.